So that is what we're dealing with today. We're out here on the Rainy River. I'm here with my buddy Donnie. I actually got my uh, boat ready. Got it all packed up. Was gonna come up here by myself and then I messaged Donnie and he was like, just hop in the boat with me. Um, so we're gonna be fishing walleyes today. And uh, what is, Donnie, what is your opinion on these conditions? Well, I'd say that these conditions are less than I do. <laughs> why don't you go? Why, why don't you put the <laughs> boat up on plane? <laughs> well, the first couple times out every year, I like to let it idle and really warm up. Uh, also, I prefer the hull all in one piece. So, <laughs> uh, you know, fiberglass is a lot tougher than people think it is, but we're still gonna go easy. What's crazy is Monday I was out here and it was it was wide open. So this is just overnight um, refreeze from the overnight lows. So it's, there's no real solid chunks, it's just spotty. We'll have to find a place to slip our jigs through. Yeah, it looks like <laughs> these five boats ahead of us have found some open water, so we might slip through there. Fantastic. Well, there you go. That looks good. Alright, do you want me to scoop her for you? Yeah, probably. Reunited and it feels so good! <laughs> Did you like that mid-conversation hook set? I did like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember what we were talking about. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so they always feel big on the river. You know, that current always makes them feel so big. You can hear the line singing in the wind. Ooh. I think it's a decent, Ooh. I think it's a decent. It fish. looks good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, big head on her. 20 inches. That's a nice one. <laughs> well, that's probably a little better than 20. Uh, Very nice. Not bad sir. for the one hand. Not bad. Not bad. Yes, sir. Well, first walleye of the open season. We'll take it. We'll take it. That was better than my first one down in St. Paul. Right. Whew, we gonna, she ate it. We're going to need some players. Oh wow, that's a beautiful one. Yeah, that's a good looking fish. It really is. We're on the board. Heck yeah. Uh, that's a nice little pot of fish there. That's what you're looking for. Yeah, if you don't, a lot of people actually don't know they can zoom in on these on these helixes, you know, but you can move that crosshair, you know, right right to a fish and doot doot. And there's your fish and there's the shadow. So that fish is actually off the bottom. You know, I'll zoom back out a couple of clicks here, cruise back down to these these five here you know i'll zoom in fish 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 um, and they're off the bottom you know that long grain of rice right there is the fish that's the sonar shadow fish sonar shadow yeah so i think there's some fish here yeah there's there's definitely some fish here <laughs> let's see if we can catch a couple up and put away i back in the driveway i go i go downstairs and that's it i go to bed yeah <laughs> there we go go not very big <laughs> There he is. Well, that's just an eater right there. Yeah, there's the tube sock. Oh, flipper! <laughs> Head away. Yeah. Yeah, I got that eighth ounce tungsten and a plastic. I just changed that tungsten and chucked it out there. That didn't take 10 seconds. No, that was quick. <laughs> let's, uh, let's do that again. I'm kind of jealous. You, you just <laughs> caught. And then you're like, yeah, hey, what the heck? I'm going to switch baits. Yeah. This is the absolute no-no. Hey, this is working. Let's try something else. <laughs> well, that worked too. I like that. I like that too. I like that there's some of them are biting here. Well, it's, it's uh, finally starting to warm up a little bit. You know, that could have more to do with it than anything. That fish grabbed that bait and never slowed down. Just kept cruising upstream. My line just went slack. You see, I ran yeah. all the way to the front of the boat to set the hook. Yep. I had to catch up to it. Yeah, one thing that's interesting too, we noticed right away when we first got out here, I don't know how well you guys can see it, but this was like, this chunk ice was everywhere. You, well, you guys saw it earlier in the video. And now you look, 
you look around and it's most of it is like I don't know that it's blown out or if it's melted. We well, were kind of thinking just, it melted. Yeah, it's just melting into the river as the sun got a little higher in the sky and got a few more degrees under us. So. Yeah, so things are just warming up, warming up all around. And it's interesting too, if you look at the water temperature here, Let's see if I can make that work. 32 and a half degrees. And what was it? What was it on Monday? Monday was about 33.7. <laughs> so it's actually colder. So yeah, it got colder, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's not bad for action, huh? Jump, jump. <laughs> Red, white, and blues. Yeah, these are all the... There we go. Atta boy. Finally. But I couldn't let Donnie kick my butt all day. There you go. Just like that. You know what, Nick? But Nick. he's angry, though. I'd say my... My favorite time of year is when it's warm enough Spot. up here where we can just spot watch and pitch. There's oh, were you going to say anything? It kind of snuck up on me. It was kind of mushy. Ooh. I think I got my first real better one here. That looks like a little better fish, buddy. Yeah, that's going to be an all right one if it's not a pike. <laughs> well, no, that looks like a walleye to me. Looks kinda, <laughs> yeah, it looks like a walleye. There we go. Oh, yeah. A tube sock. Not a bad one. Hey, we're gonna take it. I'm just going to uh, gonna be gutty and give her the flip. I see a lot of jig. Oh yeah, you can flip that. Oh, oh nice. There nice. we go. All right, how do you like that guy? That's a good walleye. It's really been interesting. It's kind of like in classic, uh, classic like early season river fishing situations where it's kind of funny. Me and Donnie were talking before I came up here. And it's always like, you know, when it's summertime, it's like you try and meet as early as you can and, you know, capitalize on the morning bite and whatnot. But it just seems like, at least for me, and I don't know about you, but like every time I come out here, um, you know, it's like the morning bite never is gonna be super special. I mean, it can be, um, but as you get later in the day and the sun beats down long enough, makes that water temperature climb up a little bit. We're right around like about a half degree warmer than when we got out here a couple hours ago. And uh, it just seems like the bite's been getting better and better as we've gone along here. So that's kind of the thought, that's the update. Donnie was up here on Monday and so it's been open, today is Thursday specifically. And so it's been open for four days. And God, there's a number of folks out here. It's not crazy yet. I think it's gonna start getting really wild this weekend especially with the nice uh, nice temperatures, but just kind of nice. I love being out this first week. And me and Donnie have actually been talking about that a little bit today is, you know, Donnie actually likes it a little bit later because the bite actually is better later as the water temperatures warm up a little bit. What did you say was kind of that secret number? Or not secret, but special number? I don't know that it's secret. Yeah, not I would say, you know, it's, it's it can be slow until 39 38 39 degrees uh 40 is is the stuff dreams are made of <laughs> um you know last year it never got above 37 for the whole stretch of the river uh the walleye river season uh, i'm kind of terrified this year is going to be the same but we'll see i mean can't yeah. catch them can't catch them on the couch yeah no exactly so, and it's it's not even 33 right now but for me the reason why i love this first week is just the fact that like you just so it's kind of nice that it broke open uh a number of days before the weekend because it gives guys the hardcores uh, a chance to get up here and not have to play bumper boats for a few days before the weekend here but i think this weekend it's going to get really busy um and anyway all, all i was getting at is i just love sneaking up before that first weekend when it gets super busy so we're going to keep on uh keep on dragging some jigs and see if we can get a few more walleyes for you That was like, that thing was like, I, I felt like I was just beginning to snag a small stick. Ugh. Is it like the pickle I got chewing on mine right now? Might be. Yours is bigger, a bigger pickle. All right, well we come through a little flurry here. Pickle number one. <laughs> Hopefully not pickle number two. All right. You got something going on here. Yeah, that's a little heavier fish. That's a little heavier fish. Boy, they all feel so heavy in the river. 
Yes, sir. You can set it right on the back deck there. Oh, perfect. <laughs> I got I got short little arms. I can't see. You I can't reach down that in there. That one felt funny. It had it pinned to the bottom. Look at that. Yep. Just a chunk. You know what? We're just kind of sitting here. Nick's putting his putting his drone and stuff away, so I'm just hanging one out there. <laughs> Donnie's like, I might as well just cream a fish. You know, with with jigs and, and plastics, especially on the river, a lot of times you just let the river do the work. I mean, you can just hang it back there as long as as long as you're not laying on the bottom and you're not way up in the water column you'll be fine you'll catch fish well, i tell you that was a good hook set <laughs> <laughs> well i just turned the gopro on i had to reset the gopro and donnie's setting the hook in between so god darn it <laughs> it's a nice one yeah it feels like it's a little bit bigger i don't think i got a real good hook set i smashed it Right on the deck there. I got short arms, that's why I gotta have you set the net on the deck. <laughs> if you put it on the floor, my short little arms can't get there. <laughs> Popped her right out. <laughs> well, that's just a nice one. Yeah, no, no giant, but a beautiful walleye. That's, that's for sure. I'm gonna change something. You got another one? No. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Look at that. <laughs> it's hard to tell sometimes in the whole YouTube land, but Donnie just went back to back to, how many backs? Five backs, back to back to back, and I think I didn't even film one of them because I was so sick of him catching fish. So, uh, yeah, he's got something going on there. I got to get in the water. We live pretty crazy lives, Nick. <laughs> there we go. boy. Had to wait till you were taking a leak. Yep. <laughs> Maybe the thing is only one of us can catch a fish today. I'm not mad about it. Could be worse. <laughs> Catching walleyes out in open water. I was just ice fishing earlier this week. So no, this does not suck. <laughs> the Rainy River is so awesome. A little piece of heaven. All right, Donnie, so what is, what is your read on what we got going on today? Um, or, and like lo looking into like the weekend here. So, I think, uh, I think you know, we actually are getting some heat today. Um, it's probably one of the nicer days we've had. It was, it was pretty cold overnight. I think we had minus six, so uh, the entire river was crusted over. I thought that bald eagle was going to come right, right. Oh yeah, look at him. Uh, so now it's what it's uh it's 5 30 in the afternoon you know we've had we've had high sun for a few hours the water has warmed up the water's warmed up a full degree maybe a degree and a half from when we got here at at 11 and uh the bite has steadily gotten better all day so uh it's not supposed to get too cold tonight and tomorrow i believe is supposed to be almost 40. sunday is supposed to be 44 so if we could get a couple more degrees of water temperature, that's really, really going to help this bite. Um, there's a lot of fish in the system. We're marking a ton of fish in the system. They're just a little lethargic, you know, and everybody gets gets rammy to get up to the river, you know, the day it thaws, and typically it's not great. Uh, typically, the, the further into the season you go, it gets a little better because you get a little, a, a little warmer water. A few degrees can make an awful big difference, so... 
Uh, I would think with that, uh, that early to mid next week is gonna be, it's gonna be getting there. All right, as you can see, Donnie's starting to pack things up. I wanted to stay out for the extra hour and a half, but I think Donnie had like ballet lessons or something tonight, or what did you say you were doing? <laughs> no, he's got some company and I've got a three and a half hour drive home. So we are just packing up now, gonna head back to the ramp and what a cool day. Fishing out on open water in the month of March, which is not like super strange for up here, but for me, it's awesome. Like I love late ice, but getting out and doing some open water, catching them on jigs, casting. Casting is a fun change, but uh, yeah, thanks for following along on the adventure today. And uh, got some more open water videos coming in the future. Uh, we'll have some good tips. We'll probably have Donnie. Donnie may show up again. Um, maybe. Maybe, possibly. And Donnie actually guides out here too, and he says he's he's open for the whole walleye season. No, it's so. not, no that's not <laughs> true. Please don't call. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I'll, it's always a blast fishing with Donnie, but yeah, we're gonna wrap things up here. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.